Hi and welcome to my review of the Eshin E010 micro quadcopter. This is a micro sized quadcopter somewhere in between the sides of a Hubson, so it's a bit smaller than a Hubson, and a Chearson uh, CX10 which is um, a little bit smaller than it. It's a adapted fan quadcopter and it's the first one I've had like this so it'll be interesting to see how this flies. I have had a few flights actually with this and get about five and a half minutes flight out of the battery which is a 150 milliamp hour. Let's see if that's going to focus in. I don't think it's going to focus in somehow. A 150 milliamp hour 30C uh, battery so it's a tiny little battery um, with a JST type connector on the end. Um, the battery takes about an hour to charge, so I'll actually charge this one before I start. Let's put that into there. Um, with most of these, the light comes onto the charger. Um, a red light shows you that it's charging, which then extinguishes once the battery is fully charged with the e -sheen. It's the other way around, so no light to charge it, then the light comes on once it's fully charged. Starting with the controller, um, fairly straightforward uh, CX10 type controller really. Um, takes two AA batteries, which I put alkaline batteries in there at the moment, but they don't come with it, so you have to supply your own batteries. Let's get in there. Um, thrust controls and your controls on the left hand side, and directional controls forward, backwards, left, and right on the right hand side. Trim controls for left and right, trim controls for forward and backwards, uh, power switch, these buttons here, this one does the, uh, puts it into headless mode, it calls it the carefree mode for some reason in here, and I believe this one does the one key return, speed switch is just there, and that will toggle between slow and fast speed, or novice and intermediate, depends how you want to um, call those, and this switch is the flip button, so what you do is you click the button and then flip by pressing one of the four directional controls just there to flip in that direction. LED light there. There are some anomalies with the instruction manual that come with it. Um, most of the controls on here are explained, but they're explained incorrectly. Um, so for instance, it points to the power switch and fast and slow gear being the actual LED light. Um, it refers to this one being the one key return for the headless mode, but this isn't the case. As I say, headless mode is this button here, this is the speed control, this is the flip control, not the trimming start button as it says there, and the rest of them are, are okay. Um, power switch obviously being just there. So that's just something to bear in mind. When you look at the instruction sheets, it's not 100% accurate, so just take that with a pinch of salt. I mean, most of it's fairly straightforward, and you'll soon work it out anyway, but this isn't correct. It comes supplied with four props, and as you'll notice, these are um, quad blade props, so four blades on each prop, and you get two of each kind, clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, the quad itself has integral prop guards, which are the ducted type props and um, it's quite a natty little quadcopter in fact and um, I like the shape of the body there's a choice of red or green I went for the red and uh, yeah it looks pretty good the prop guards don't remove you can't take those off they're there uh, that's all part of the structure of the body so just in case you're wondering no you can't do anything with those there that's pretty much it for this part of the review, so I'm going to do a test flight now. Once the battery's charged, I'm going to do a test flight and um, show you how it performs. Welcome back. This is my flight demonstration of the Eshin E010 uh, micro quadcopter. Right, um, battery's charged. I guess it took about an hour. I wasn't um, actually timing it, but um, previous times it's taken around about an hour, and that's what they specify. And it's now we're now ready for connection so I turn the controller on plug the quad in there's a fixed plug in there bind it there we go 
set the timer and off we go. It's quite a stable flyer. This is in uh, the, the lower speed. This is the slow speed of the two. So let's bring it in for a, a little look at it. Try to adjust my camera there as well. Right, okay, so let's. Red light at the back, blue light at the front. Whoop. Again, trying to adjust my camera. I'm just going to land for a second. Right, okay, let's sort that again. And again, a, a better look at it, so bring it closer. Alright, change the speed. This is high rates. <coughs> the... Uh, the thrust, the elevation, is quite sensitive, so it's you tend to find you're doing all of this bobbing thing up and down if you're not careful. But, I mean, it's quite responsive. There we go, it's high rates again. Low rates. Yeah, you can see it just doesn't respond quite as quickly, but it's still pretty nippy even on the low rates, so it's not bad. Um, your rate, slow and whoops, fast, yeah, so that gets a bit faster, low, fast, flips, let's do a couple of flips, so again, press the upper shoulder button, the right hand shoulder button, whoops, Let's take it a bit further away and do that again. So, okay, yeah, it loses a a fair bit of height, so you've got to be ready to counter that with a little bit of up thrust. Funnels. What's happened there? That's fine. It's probably caught on something. Well, there's a good test of the prop guards. to high rates again. The rates indicator is um, very quiet so you can't hear when you've actually changed to the rate so you've got to trust that you've actually done it. You can hear it just about. Let's put it closer to the camera. You might have just heard that. It's just very quiet.
very stable nonetheless. Um, I mean, without any controls other than the thrust. And I haven't actually trimmed it up on this flight either, so... Right, let's try trimming it. There we go. And there's the low battery warning. Nice to see it doesn't fall straight out of the sky. I think it gives you about 30 seconds or so to land before it eventually comes down. So let's bring it down there. What have we got? Um, which Shane's saying 604. I was a bit slow on turning it off there. So that's about 550 minus the mucking around when it crashed, etc. So yeah, again, it's about five and a half minutes that you're getting on a flight of this. Um, it hasn't got a camera or anything like that. It is just a straightforward um, quadcopter, manual quadcopter. But uh, yeah, fun little flyer actually. It's um, nice and easy to fly. The feedback obviously on the sticks are very short, so it's, it is quite sensitive. But um, uh, aside from that, it actually does quite well. So um, yeah, very pleased with that. Very good little flyer, and um, it's proved itself to be robust with all of the crashes and the smashing into the walls and the ceilings that I've done with it today. So that's the Ishin E010 micro quadcopter. Thank you very much for watching.